Hello and welcome to a brief overview of different types of pharmaceutical companies in the pharmaceutical industry. We'll focus on companies that make drug substance, drug product or finished dose, innovators or branded companies, and also some generic companies. Multinational companies develop and manufacture new chemical entities for the pharmaceutical market. The 10 largest pharmaceutical companies account for more than a third of the industry's total market share, and they have a global purchasing unit and also multiple R&D and manufacturing sites worldwide. Some examples are Abbott, Estellas, Pfizer, Sanofi, Bristol Myers Squibb, Eli Lilly, Johnson & Johnson, Novartis, Merck. Branded pharmaceutical companies are a company whose activity is to develop pharmaceutical or biological products for human use and they are licensed by the FDA and much smaller than a multinational pharmaceutical company. Uh, typically, branded pharmaceutical companies develop also uh, new drug entities or NCEs, as I said earlier, for the pharma market and they handle dr from drug discovery, clinical trials through uh, launch. They have uh, research and development and do early stage manufacturing of the drug. They're different from multinationals because they have a smaller size business. Examples of branded companies are Takeda, Allergan, Amgen, Dong Ah Pharmaceuticals from Korea, Orion Pharmaceuticals from Finland, Genentech, Endo Pharmaceuticals, a contract manufacturing organization. They manufacture drug substance for the API, and some of them also manufacture the dosage form, tablets, capsules, for branded multinational and other pharmaceutical segments. They don't have R&D or, um, or develop their own products. Large pharma companies are increasingly using CMOs, especially if they don't have the expertise in-house to manufacture. It helps them with cost, capacity. Some examples of contract manufacturing organizations are Albany Molecular Research, uh, Carbogen Laboratories, Lanza, Rambaxi Research in India, Ovione in Portugal. Contract research organizations, also known as CROs, or clinical research organizations, they offer a wide range of pharmaceutical services, ranging anywhere from performing clinical research to doing medicinal chemistry. The reasons for outsourcing to contract research organizations is that it reduces the time to bring a new drug to market, controls or fixed costs. If our services aren't available in house, they have good capabilities to handle clinical trials. They can handle phase three clinical trials and are familiar with gathering large patient populations and also can handle regionalized diseases. If developing a drug for Africa, you can count on a CRO in Africa to recruit good patient populations there. A CRO is very large and they have a, about a $57 billion market size in R&D in 2004, of which 14 billion of it was used for the outsourcing of services offered by the CRO industry. Some examples of CROs are Exodon Neuroscience Research, Acorn CRO Services, Ferro Fonsteel, Quintiles Transnational Corporation, and that's about it. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, contact me, Stuart Silverman, at the email listed below, or you can give a call at the phone number also below. So I'd like to say at this point, thank you very much for your time. I hope that this has been informative. 